Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about Sprite Kit and making a game kind of like Jetpack Joyride or some endless running kind of game. Um, anyway, in the last video, we kind of left off with this. This is not quite perfect, but trust me, we're getting somewhere. Um, got our guy here, he's kind of falling slowly, and he's running along, and we have this kind of random background color. I noticed that uh, these ground planes look like they're perfectly aligned, but somehow physics kind of trips up on that one. Um, let's fix that. So our player object is a physics object, and physics objects have a couple properties that you can set besides the physics body. Um, they have a physics, and what I'm going to do, let me go back there, right? I was in game scene um, dot swift earlier, and I'm switching to player dot swift because this is where we'll set all of the properties for the player object. So, um, one of the properties that belongs to the physics body is called uh, dot, wait, allows rotation. Okay, so in some cases you'll have a physics body where you, you don't want it to rotate. And I'm picturing my, um, my player object here will be that way. I'm actually going to switch this question mark for the exclamation point. Um, and we'll set allows rotation equal to uh, false. Oops, except for we'll do our best to spell this correctly. Right, there we go. So we'll set, uh, you know, in setup here, we'll set physics body allows rotation to false. And then I'm going to go back to game scene swift. I feel like my player's moving a little bit slowly. Um, I think we're going to have to improve this motion a little bit here. Maybe I'll set his his DX velocity to, um, to 1200, right? And then we'll, uh, we'll try it again. So this time you can see, um, actually that's kind of a bad color. I should have not used random colors, right? But uh, we're going to get a little more use out of that in a moment. Actually, that one is also, the. Two, it looked like it was two shades of blue that were like almost exactly the same. Oh, there we go, right? So I see my guy f moving along here, and when he hits this edge right here, oh, it just moves right past it because he no longer rotates. Anyway, this will be good if we have art in here, you know, um, like a little character guy running or something. Um, you know, we won't want him to spin or anything, right? But anyway, let's let's get into the real subject of this video. And what I want to do is, you know, as our landscapes scroll by, when they reset and move to the right side to begin again, what I want to do is I want to reconfigure the landscape, okay? And I want to change it. Now, we won't do much in this video, but we'll, we'll get that process started, okay? So right now, um, our landscapes are in an array called landscapes, and every frame we check the scrolling of the landscape, and we look at each landscape, and we figure out how far it's moved, and if it's far enough out of the view to the left, then what we do is we reset it and move it back to the right side. And we do that right here, landscape position x plus equals landscape size times 2 right, or width times two, okay? And right here is where we want to reconfigure the landscape. And the way we'll do that is we'll add a method to our landscape object, okay? So I'm going to switch to landscape.swift. This is our class landscape, and it's an SK node. And just for this example, um, we, we, don't, we have to build some objects that we can put into a scene, and we'll do that in future videos. But right now what we'll do, since this... Um, landscape object has a background, what we'll do is we'll change the color of the background each time it moves by, okay? Um, I'm going to make another small change here. Um, you know, I set the random color right here to, uh, you know, arc4 random 1000 divided by 1000. I set the hue there. I'm going to change the alpha value to um, 0.5 so the background will be partially transparent, right? Just for now. We'll change this later. Um, but anyway, so I'll do that, and then what we'd like to do is we'd like to set a, a random color, okay? So we need a function here that will give us a random color, because every time our landscape scrolls by, we want to reconfigure it so it looks like a new segment in the game, or a new background, or maybe it has new, you know, objects and stuff in it. But what we'll do here, since we'll have to create those objects, what we're going to do now is we're just going to change the background color. Okay, and if we can change the background color, then 
from there, we can start changing anything else that happens in here every time the landscape resets. Okay, so let's go down to the bottom and we'll make a, an area here. I'm going to mark this as, you know, a helper function, um, right? So I'll put all my helper functions down here at the bottom. And um, let me scroll up a little bit like that, right? And then let's make a function called, um, hmm, let's think, what should we call it? Let's call it, um, how about reset landscape, something like that, right? Okay, and we'll call this every time the landscape moves back to the right side, okay? And what we'll do here just for simple, you know, just for this simple example is we'll change the color. So now every time the landscape goes by, it'll be a new color, okay? Um, it's probably good if we create a function to generate a random color. So let's do a random color, and this function will return, oops, uh, a UI color right and you know what we can do is we can borrow um, we can borrow this little system up here where it says hue right I'll just copy this let hue equal whatever right so let hue equal you know CG float arc for random right and then what we'll do is we'll say return a UI color that will be a color with hue, saturation, and brightness. And we'll put the hue variable here. And the saturation can be one. We could randomize this too, but we'll just keep things simple and we'll set the brightness to one. And then the alpha can be 0.5, okay? Right, and we could actually call this function to set the original color here on the background, right? Um, we have to initialize this with a color and we can't call any methods before we call super so in order to set the color here we'd have to f make this a fixed color and then change the color um, when we set up okay um, so for right now I'll just leave this alone um, but uh, but we could do that right so we'll just leave that and now what we want to do is we want to change the background color here when we reset the landscape so every time we reset the landscape, we'll change the color of our of our background sprite, right? So in here, what we'll do is we'll say, you know, background dot uh, color equals random color. So that's pretty simple, right? And then we could do, you know, other stuff to you know change the content of this back of landscape, right? Okay. And dot, dot, dot means like, you know, we're going to do that later. So anyway, so we got this, right? So now when do we reset the landscape? Well, it's pretty easy. We can go to game scene and right here where, you know, the landscape resets itself. This would be a great spot to say landscape dot reset landscape. Okay. So let's give it a try. So we'll test and... So there we got kind of a brown and a purple. I gotta speed this up a little bit just so we can see this go by a little faster, right? Um, maybe we'll make this like 16, 1800, right? So I guess there's two greens there, it's hard to see them, but uh, Oh, now we got a blue, right? And then uh, let's see what the next color is. Oh, there's kind of a green again. Wait a minute. Let's make sure it's different, right? We'll try it one more time. Oh yeah, and there's kind of a purple, right? So it should just be different every time. Um, so now we're getting somewhere, we got our background there. And again, like when we call this reset landscape, just because it changes the background color here doesn't mean that in the future we can't, you know, uh, add coins to a section of landscape or include some obstacles that you have to avoid or add some enemies to that scene, you know. Um, and that's, that's exactly what we're going to do, right? So we just have a method here. We can call it on the landscape. 
and then the landscape can reconfigure all of the content. Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching and I hope that that is helpful.